Um, you've had experience, as you said, as a high school, college, and a, an elite athlete, professional athlete. What did you take from that into your coaching? I took a lot of personal experience, but I think one thing that coaches oftentimes, like if you have a lot of experience or, or competing at a high level, you know, I think maybe even like my first years as a young coach um, was really challenged with like not being able to identify with athletes who were different than me. Like when I first came out of college and started coaching at Loyola, like I couldn't understand when people had performance anxiety or like didn't like race day. Um, I couldn't understand some of the things that they loved about running or didn't love about running or racing or competing in the same way that I did. And, um, at first that was a real challenge for me until I really stepped back from it and, and matured, you know, I, I had like the years of coaching right after college, then the years of being a professional athlete and mentored by great coaches and then transitioning into my own coaching uh, career. So a lot of different perspective and a lot of changes for me, I think, along the way. But um, just being able to identify with them, I think, was the the hardest thing for me when I was really young because um, I loved racing like that. I I didn't always love going out for a run. I loved hard workouts. I just loved like the intensity of like the big effort days, and whether that was a workout or a long run or a um, or race day, like those were the days I lived for. And, um, I remember like being challenged with, with athletes who I was like, wait, you just like training. Like you just like going for a run. Like what, you know, it just didn't really resonate with me in the beginning. But, sure. um, I think as a mature coach, you really try to get inside the mind of an athlete and know that they're all different and they're all challenged with different, um, circumstances and their product of their experiences and just being a better listener, I think, was something that um, I learned over time. Like, listen, 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 hear them, and then try try to empower them to work through their own challenges, not as much you trying to tell them what to do. Most of the time, they need to have that epiphany themselves. Um, so if you can guide them in conversation, if you can coach them in conversation to uncover you know, whatever their challenges are, um, then they, they're owning it in a different way as opposed to a coach barking at them or, or telling them the way it is or, or, you know, whatever that is. I mean, there's certainly those moments too, but, um, really for an athlete to buy in and, um, believe in themselves, it has to really come from, from them. 